Greetings and welcome back to the uh, RC Wallet Vacuum channel. And thanks for stopping by. Today's uh, video is going to be a first of a multi-part video on airbrushing. And we're going to start today with just reviewing a little bit of what's inside uh, the Master Airbrush Kit that I have here. And uh, we'll delve into that. Quick summary on that. And then the next parts we're going to dive into doing some, figure out how to figure out dominant colors for uh, painting the inside of the bodies and then do some, hopefully some body painting. So let's see what we got in the box first. So there's a half millimeter needle in the nozzle, a two tenths of a millimeter. I think the, the, the gun, the airbrush itself has a three tenths on it already. Uh, color mixing wheel, this might be very uh, helpful for in the next stage when we try to mix colors and find out who's diamond, who to spray first. That's a big thing for me is like the color goes in first. And here it looks like I've got the airbrush. Now it's called the Master Pro Plus, but I don't know if it's fitting since it's a total amateur going to be using it, but whatever. No instructions, I'll need those. So, got the airbrush, a couple of different cups. See, it looks like a flow regulator and then the uh, water separator. An inline water separator, I'll definitely need that. And uh, I'm assuming the um, tank or the compressor and tank are going to have a water separator in as well. Yeah, I'm guessing the three tenths of a millimeter is installed. It's nice, heavy, heavy duty. Maybe the airbrush. If we get a uh, two-way, push it down for air and pull back for paint, I believe. Yeah, it looks like that's what would be going on. A couple different size cups. So I plan on using uh, Pro-Line paints to do the bodies. I got some other paints I'm going to start with to experiment with you know, how to operate the thing. Tip cleaning brushes, I guess, I'm assuming, or brush or uh, airbrush cleaning kit. And then here we have some colors. These are came with a kit. I'm just going to use these to experiment with because I'm not sure if these are Lexan compatible. They're bright, so that's a good thing. And water based acrylic formulation. So I don't know, this may, may be compatible with Lexan, but I ain't going to find out. Oh yes, a resource for how to operate it. That will be good. And then the compressor. I went, originally I was going to go with, uh, use my 60 gallon compressor I got in the other part of the shop, but the problem with that is you're pulling in such a volume of air that you're also going to be pulling in a lot of water. And getting all the water separated out, that just seems to be harder to do versus a small little volume compressor right here next to me. And, um, the other issue is that the other compressor sits out in a different part of the shop that's not heated, so I wasn't sure how that was going to work with having a tank full of cold air being piped into a warm room, even with water separation. So that's why I decided to stick with this setup here. So let's see what's inside. It's supposed to have a separate tank on it, so I think the compressor isn't running non-stop. So I guess it's the Cool Runner 2. I've just seen this this uh, this same design, the same thing built by or distributed by many of different manufacturers. So I'm guessing there's one plant somewhere in presumably China building these things. Everybody puts their name on them. Looks nice though. It's got a water separator and regulator on there. That'll definitely be mandatory. Hopefully there's a drain on the bottom of the tank. Yeah, there's definitely a drain on the bottom of the tank, so you want to bleed this thing out every time you're done to drain out any water. So, next step is going to be to hook the thing up. Go through some of these other parts. I'm guessing this probably holds the airbrush. This probably clamps on that regulator and holds the airbrushes, I'd guess. But that's a guess. And a hose. So, 
we'll go through that next. So the setup on this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't use, uh, one thing is that they they have a 1 8 uh, BSP pipe fitting, which is a British standard. And uh, so if you're gonna put other hoses on or tees or something like that on there, you'll probably have, if you don't get the BSP, you're gonna have to get adapter, so keep that in mind. I don't bother using thread tape on something like this because it should it should seal off that crown in there and not out the thread. So if, if it's got past that crown and it's making it the threads, you're already you're already uh, losing the game. So other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I put the uh, inline water separator before the, uh, the flow control, but I don't know if it really matters. Uh, this thing has a pressure regulator. You set the, you know, there's where you obviously set your pressure. And this is gonna be a, uh, like a needle valve that's gonna be a line restrictor. It's gonna uh, regulate how much actual air is gonna flow out. So there's multiple places you can adjust this thing. Obviously the pressure, the flow, and then you got the flow controls up here, and then your angle, and the distance, and your, how your paint's mixed, and how thin it is, the atmospheric conditions, and a bunch of different things. So we'll set up now and try doing some painting. So right now I've got this set up, and I've done a couple of tests, discovered what not to do. Uh, well, one thing is too, I ran into issues with this flow meter, or flow regulator. Uh, it just... Uh, it's a little doing a little too much flow regulation as in none flows so that i eliminated that for now uh, i'm gonna give you a, a quick rundown of changing tips gotta be careful when you do this so you don't damage anything and do that lock nut get the needle out then you just gotta spin this front nut off of here it's cap and it's got a uh a little plastic nylon piece on there. It's a seal of some sort, I'm guessing. You can see I haven't cleaned the paint off from the last run. And it's very uh, touchy to having any little bit of paint left in there. And then that little nylon thing is very easy to lose. Well, in this case, it's still in there. So, I have a little tool here. Very carefully pick that thing out of there. So, to go back in, you just gotta take the, take the nozzle. It's got a... Uh, so that cone shaped thing but that uh it goes on like that and then you drop carefully drop the uh hull assembly into the end cap and then uh there's nothing in there and make sure that lines up good snug it up a little bit some uh, o-ring seals and then very carefully Slide your needle back in there, get any paint off there. Just, I did not clean this obviously before I did this. So, this might give me a little trouble when I go to spray again. Just gotta gently slide, you might find a little bit of resistance part way back. Ends up being around, I think about 18 millimeters. This is a 3 tenths uh, tip, but I think it's gonna be the same for all of them. I almost think these are all the three, the two tenths, the three tenths, and the five tenths millimeter needles are all the same thing. They're certainly the same diameter, but I'm not sure if they're what the tapers are like. If there's a different taper, I don't know any way of measuring that taper. But lock that down good so when you slide this in, you don't bump that through and it needs to be locked down anyhow. Line it up good, spin it in. Presser's getting ready to go. So I'm going to get some paint in this and uh, I'm going to have to clean it out a little bit before I spray but we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to give a couple, couple quick shots of the lines on these things and the different techniques. Start by uh, holding it, the button down. Get the air flowing and just start pulling it back. You should get some paint coming out of there. I just ran some water. Yeah, okay. I ran some water through so it'll be kind of shitty in this shit. Let's clear up. Yeah, this is one real small line. 
just start real close. Like I said, I still got water in there. That's where you go, the, the ghosting image. Definitely needs to be cleaned better. The splatter, I'm sure, is not good. But, being a beginner, this, this yellow paint seems kind of thin. I'm only at 20 psi, that may be a little too low. I mean, I definitely hear a little sputtering and paint coming out, so I think that tip's probably a little dirty. But, all in all, being the fact that it's a complete beginner, it works pretty good. Uh, and if you have to spend some time <clears throat> learning some details of it. And uh, all I can say is all you three-year-olds out there better be watching your backs in the art world because I'm coming for you. Look at that freaking stuff. So there you have it. That's the uh, opinion of a complete beginner. Someone who's never touched an airbrush before uh, on this um, master airbrush. Uh, airbrush kit with the uh, Cool Runner tank, tanked uh, compressor and uh, the Master Pro Plus airbrush. Uh, other than an issue with that regulator, it worked pretty well. There's, uh, the, the biggest thing we have problems with is it's going to be keeping the tips clean because I can see the slightest little bit causes issues from bubbling back into the the bowl there to spitting, sputtering. And then there's also the issue of the paints. Uh, well, I was using some U.S. airbrush acrylic paints, which they seem good paints, but uh, yeah, if you have the thin two and etc. Uh, I did get the pro, uh, pro line just came in, and uh, it's the primary color set. But I'm also waiting for the fluorescent. But I, I wouldn't be surprised. This is, they said these are well, water-based acrylic, just like those U.S. airbrush ones or air, air supply ones are. So probably come out of the same factory in China too. But either way. I'll try those pro lines, but I plan using the fluorescence on the uh, the Kraken. But all in all, I'd, I'd give us a, 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 a certainly a positive review. The uh, luckily I'm going to be doing everything with photo mask in the body, so artistic talent won't matter too much. I am good with CAD, so I can do it on a computer and spit out a photo mask. So see how that works out.